Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We're going to be hopping in and doing our first Pandora nest. Uh, I've gone through and I've done customization on our new sniper. Uh, if I just show very quickly the training uh, that we've got. Farsighted, pretty good for a sniper. Biochemist, not so good for a sniper. And Thief, this makes me think that we might eventually cross class into... Mm, I, I don't know, maybe the Infiltrator. We, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but suffice to say, we're, we're equipped and ready to go in. So this is going to be our first nest mission. If this is the same as it was previously, uh, we just need to find the hatching sentinels and destroy them. Uh, it's going to be continuous enemy reinforcements. So without further ado, let's send the team in. Okay, well, the very first thing that I'm thinking is that this is a different layout to the standard ones that we've seen in the past. Receiving loud and clear. So life just got interesting. Moving now. Now people are mostly healed. Moving to position. Let's do this. Enemy in visual range. Okay, we've got our first egg. Uh, let's back up along this side. Unfortunately, with uh, with little visibility, it's going to be really hard for us to guess or anticipate where it is we need to go. I think I'm going to move you down this way just so we can have a little scout. We might have our... Yeah, we've got our first one over here, actually. Question is, how close can we get before it's going to trigger? I'm going. Okay, we can at least see it. Yes. And from here, you can shoot it. Apparently, don't really believe that. Let's move you across one space. We'll bring our heavy in here and we'll try and take it out in one turn. That's a reasonable shot from here actually. We'll have a sniper rifle rather than the pistol but yeah I am down for that. So between the three of you, you should be able to handle it so I can send our last assault down this way. Moving. Okay, fingers crossed we don't run into any trouble. So it goes on quite far by the looks of it. We're gonna let's go. Step in. This thing is alerted, and dunk. 160 damage. It's a good start. Question is, who do we want to get the kill? Probably our new sniper. Advancing. So this will help, but we need the sniper to do the actual damage. Here we go, first one down. Good job, team. Actually, we can step you in a little bit further. Got an egg, okay. And generally good visibility. Yeah, you guys are all, all done. 
So over here, this does extend further, but it doesn't look like there, well, there might be a way around there. How much health have these got? 160, so we are not going to run in and just bash them. It's gonna have to be proper shooting, make sure it gets done. Enemy spotted. And we're gonna do this a little bit carefully. Enemy kill. This does sixty, these have got hundred and sixty, so that's that's well I suppose we could do two pistol shots and then a Confirming quick time. aim. Not done yet. One more will take it out. Confirming target. Enemy down. Because the last thing I want is them accidentally hatching where we can't key. see them and then like running around at us. That would be terrible. Channel open. Okay, yeah, I think we are all done. Hi! Oh, they've got guns now. I forgot that. Zooming in. Of course, having guns doesn't mean that they're going to be better with them than we are. Right on the head. <laughs> know that there's a guy there, but he's got to come all the way around here before he gets to us. But let's start exploring down the little side passage. And I think I'm actually going to set Overwatch going this way. Over here, we can... Uh, Kind of edge our way forwards. On the move. On it. We're doing less damage because of our improved accuracy, so we can't actually kill that in one go. If the sniper can get in and take a pistol shot, then all set. That would help. Let's roll. Identifying target. Preparing. And this should sort it out. What's our move? Uh, what's our move? We're all Comes piling into this tiny corridor. That's our move. <laughs> Hello. Yes, put your shield facing directly away from us. That is the best way to protect. Against, you know, Giant cannons. Does make me chuckle. Heading out. Moving to position. I'm going to try and ease around this way Heading a out. little bit. I'd love... The, the visibility is still super screwy in this game Let's at times. This. I mean, we should be able to see into here by now, but... Moving to position. 
Has it already actually started activating and we can't even see in there? I think it might have done. Pushing on. Okay, we're going to overwatch like this. Hold in position. I need you round here as far as you can get. And I think we might get screwed by the fog of war. Which would suck if it's the case. Dashing ahead. Target down. Yeah, definitely screwed by the fog of war. Taking a little bit of fire isn't too much of a problem. Wait, is that guy's actually on top of us? What's our plan? Yes, it is. All right. Well, seeing as you are right here, mate, where is your least armored bit? The arms? Enemy hit. We can kill you with a pistol. Confirming target. So let's do that. There's the panic. Shoot the Arthurum. Nice. Not done over here yet. I want my visibility. Moving out. There we go. So this thing here has already been activated. Ready to engage. Right there. I'm actually gonna back us up over here so we can see the worm. Moving out. Uh, you're gonna charge in as far as you can. Oh, you might actually be able to get a shot all the way down there. That'd be funny. Ready to fire. That is quite the shot. But, you know, helping out at long range. Killed it. Was that the last? Just two hatching sentinels. Okay, a tiny bit of new injury. Uh, Kodiak gained level, which is cool. Uh, we got some kills on our new sniper, which is the, probably the most important thing from that. So everyone likes us a little bit more. It just costs us resources. And of course, what we spent on the sniper rifle, we can't replace until we've finished our research. Oh, there's a whole bunch of things for us to research now. Uh, New Jericho in five hours, and after that, Triton Autopsy. Sure, that seems good enough so we can start getting shotguns. But after that... After that, we want the Phoenix Archives. So, uh, we're going to move on and do this uh, DLC mission. So Subject 24 has provided us with the location of the New Jericho Research Facility conducting experiments in human augmentation. Due to the secret nature of the facility, security is likely to be light. The goal is to get the research data located within the facility. There's no need to eliminate the defending security personnel. 
Well, if we don't need to eliminate them, let's do your training. You're getting return fire. And we're going to get you close quarters specialist. Maybe we can just charge in and grab the data without needing to engage anyone. Knowing that we're going to have to preserve every human life, or at least try and preserve every human life, potentially saving one life now could make all the difference. Okay, we've got three bits of research steel. There's one, there's one, there's one. Are they just right in this building? Oh, there's another over there. Do we then have to get out? Is there more up on top? No, I I think we're just we're just charging in. How do we get into this place? So there's the door. For some of them it's faster to go like up and over. I think that drop down doesn't actually work the way it thinks it does. Oh there's a... no that's all, all from below. Okay so one, two, three is our plan. So if we jump up and then eventually jump to here, we could potentially run. Ooh, maybe we can come across to this one. What's the way ins here? Not really accessible. Okay. We are jumping up on top. They're moving forwards as far as we can. For the rest of these guys. Dash. If I send you to the far one. So you're coming this way. So literally to there would be fine. Pushing on. Gotta keep going. We can only use it twice a turn. That's still gonna let Moving us to coordinates. get pretty damn close. Next turn we might be able to grab this one. We are a little bit exposed here, but it is what it is. What's our plan? Uh, for the other side, there's no entry, so yeah, we're we're still pushing the same way. Okay. Here. No time to lose. enemy spotted all the way over at the back okay well maybe we'll have our snipers take some pot shots I'm ready neither of them can see that's not a problem Sniper over there might be a problem. If we keep moving and keep behind cover, though, I'm sure it'll be fine. If we have to defend once we're inside, uh, we'll hole up inside one of the rooms, or maybe in the upstairs bit. Comes online. Oh, these guys have actually got no cover here. Sprinting. Let's put you over this side. And I'm going to put Dashing you ahead. here in hard cover. 
and we'll see what happens from this. Let's show them what we can do. I knew Jericho Sniper. Standing by. Uh, you don't actually have enough willpower to dash. Uh, let's start up on top, actually. Okay, we are blocked from jumping. Except we could actually jump to like here. And go for this one. This was not my original plan. Moving. But we'll make it work. Uh, you can make it to there. In fact, if I get you onto this one. Oh, we can still do the others. Oh, maybe we can just get these done this turn. On the double. Get the research. What's our plan? And then we'll just casually pretend like we were wandering around a research base. I mean, I, I'm not very happy with that. Uh, I think that we should have had to at least try and extract. Uh, with the, with like steaming the um, the aircraft ones, when you go through them, you have to defend it for, a no at least you used to have to defend it for a number of turns. This, we should have at least had to, to try and get out of there. Well, it's extra experience. Process a host of bacteria. It is right to be taught even by an enemy, even if they are cowards and traitors. The research we obtained is more than a set of upgrades. It is the first step in reclaiming the planet. Humanity will be born again, and this time the cure will show the path. So New Jericho dislike us a little bit for that, but it's almost certainly worth it. Basic bionic technology. Cybernetics lab facility and additional designs. So that's going to come up. These three first, though. And um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see how the, the rest of it goes. For not doing a great deal, we did get some uh, some experience out of that, though. Uh, sniper rifle proficiency with plus 25% damage and minus 4 willpower. Minus 4 willpower is huge. I mean, we could offset it, of course. And we would want to, like, cross class into sniper at that point. I think I prefer it the other way around, though. I think I prefer cross classing into. Oh, from Sniper into Heavy. Uh, for now, uh, we're going to put... Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do Warcry. Uh, we'll do... Two more speed. And we'll leave it at that for you. Uh, next up, Mario. You get Return Fire. You get Close Specialist. Yeah, we're going to give you the shotgun. I'm going to run up to everyone and go, It's me, Mario! Just before you blow their faces clean off. Uh, let's give you some speed to go with that. And over here, Rhea. It's going to get return fire. And uh, I think we want to give you speed as well. 
we are going to cross you into heavy. Maybe we should give you a willpower and I'll save the rest of the points. Okay, well, pretty uneventful for the guys so far. Let's, uh, let's head down and have a look at this unexplored site. Research complete. So we've completed our research into New Jackrabbit, which is we are out of tech. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Oh yeah, one man. So our operatives have discovered something of a treasure trove. An old underground lab full of functional tech. Unfortunately, the structural integrity of the facility is severely compromised. Deep cracks in the walls suggest collapse is imminent. It'd be possible to reinforce the facility to buy us enough time to retrieve the tech, but it'd be costly. 50 materials is not costly. Let's do it. 150 tech. That is so worth that trade. Oh my God. Uh, I'm actually going to push down here and we'll work our way back across pretty basic New Jericho Haven hey the firebird is ready okay let's put that on uh, the reason we're doing this if I hop in is so we can get this reverse engineered and I actually want this up at the top just before the Phoenix archives the bridge exploration site our office is set down on the bridge in the middle of nowhere looks like a group of people tried to start up a haven here building out from underneath the bridge but the construction has been left unfinished Either the people were killed or they decided to move on. There's not much left, but something's better than nothing. We got some materials and we got some food. Construction complete. Yay, training facility is ready back home. The fire within. Ah, oh, this is our Disciples of Anu introduction mission. And the Disciples of Anu Haven of Kurda, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals have placed their hopes in Taxiarch Nurgle, the Disciples' greatest military hero. But Nurgle is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression. I think us saving their Haven before created the good... Well, actually no, we did fire a Hell Cannon directly at one of their generators. But anyway, we're going to send the team in and hopefully eliminate the... Uh, the worms without too much trouble. Now the question with these missions is always how fast do we go and how much ammo do we want to use? Okay, we can already see one. I see them. That's over at the back. Three. 
for there's quite a good collection over here actually. Moving to position. Let's have a look at them. Right, so can't tell their movement, but I don't think they'd be able to make it all the way down here in that time. What we could do is we could hop up top, make sure there's Good nothing idea. on the roof. Looks like there's something inside though. So we want to take care of those as quickly as we can. We've still got two assaults. So looking at the angles. We run to here. I would love to run past this one, but I don't think we can actually do that. Don't run to here. We'll probably punch one of them. And then we'll need someone else to take out the last. Channel open. Like you. You're actually in perfect position to do this. Saving ammo. Right, so you can adopt the position over here that I was talking about before. And, oh, Amos is gonna sneeze. You're right, Amos. You're just, just waking up a bit bunged up. All set. Double time. Ready for action. Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's go like this and let them come to us. All we've got to do is kill the worms. Is it too much to snipe a worm? Well, that's that's not going to happen. I mean, as amusing as it would be. Uh, we can dash you twice to here, then you could walk in and stab this one. This is massively overextending ourselves, and I know that. But it's fine. Right there. Uh, we could actually just evacuate you to keep you safe. Uh, we can walk you in, you can smack this one and then retreat. Let's roll. Seventy-two damage with a sniper rifle. That is pretty good. Receiving loud and clear. Uh, we can dash you in twice, and then you can walk in and smack no the other one. The There's no need for us to be wasting resources on ammo. It smells like trouble. Step up, get a slightly better view, but you're going to basically just stay there. I think we'll pull you across here so you can see. Hey, he's off the roof. Oh, no, wait, it was a different one. 
No choice but to keep going. No, you can get to here and you can stab both of them. So there's number one. There's number two. Can't get close enough in one turn, so come to here. And I want you lending some support, so come up. Dashing Let's ahead. have you over the other side. I think we should be fine with the ones that left. I don't think they're going to get close enough to explode. Yeah, so that's that's two more punches. Comes online. Sniper elite. Bash. Gov giving them the business. Bash. I'm here. I would love it if you could make it close enough, but it doesn't look like you can. All set. So we'll Double have time. to do it with someone else. Simple enough. That's how you take care of worms. Zero shots fired. A little bit of experience for everyone. And a couple of level ups. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. Okay. Uh, we're not ready to put our faith in your dogma. Very well. I don't blame you. It's hard to see the right path sometimes. I hope you recognize it while there's still time. The liturgy of the divine flesh is coming, whether you like it or not. If you say so. Okay, well, that has gone pretty damn well for us. Uh, I am worried that we're a little bit far away from, from base. Let's kind of start working our way back. We've got uh, some upgrades to do, so we'll do that quickly. Uh, yeah, did we want to give you a shotgun? 20% bonus damage is absolutely great. Minus 20% accuracy is not so great. But it will get balanced out. So if we cross class you into assault and give you the close quarter specialist. Then as we get further along with Master Marksman and Mark for Death, we'll be able to do some pretty nasty pretty nasty shot fun. Uh who else? Over here, our new sniper. Uh, we're going to get uh, far sighted and we'll get biochemist. And that wipes out all of our points. And we've been ambushed. It always seems to happen just when we're running out of time. Let's, um, let's see if we can do this quickly uh, because I, I dislike ending on an ambush mission. Now three turns isn't actually that long if we're Lucky with how we start. So, what have we got? 
We've got a Triton Strangler. That's not a threat. We have a Triton Strangler. That's not a threat. We have an Arthrum Brute. That's not a threat. Over here we have a regular Arthron, also not a threat. You are not a threat, and also you are not a threat. So none of these guys are actually dangerous to us. Let's start trying to pick them off. All I need is a clear shot. I mean, if we were to hit it, we would kill it. But that's the that's the big if. I think we'll go after this guy. Shot him in the head. Let's do that again. Probably should have gone for the one down the side, but... Don't ask me how we managed to hit the one where he was. Uh, over here... Can you get a single kill? I really hope you can. He's going to die soon enough. From where you are, we could walk across and take a shot at this guy down the side. Arm is I'm ready. gone. Let's double down on you. Moving. Hopefully he'll die before the regeneration kicks in. Uh, he's basically dead. That is not a shot we're going to make. That might be though. Not brilliant. Let's try that again. That's better. That's a significant damage output. So for this, how do we want to how do we want to deal with a heavy? This is how we want to deal with a heavy. If we get a grenade in, like, here... First grenade of the campaign. Broke both of his legs. Broke his head. He's bleeding. He's gonna die. Alright. Not a bad turn. This guy is going to die before he does anything really worthwhile. I don't think we need to spend any more ammo on him. Uh, he did die. Perfect. Right, you. You are still obviously on the map. And we know that you're there. And you are a threat. Pushing on. If I go to here, I can see and shoot him. So let's do that. This is not a brilliant shot. <laughs> but it is a shot. So he's bleeding out. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with what's going on. You're going to die. Yeah, with eight hit points left, you're going to die. Let's just uh, let them move around themselves. <laughs> he's got ten hit points left, so he's going to die. What's our move? So I think we're just waiting yeah. for the exit to appear now. <laughs> Where are we leaving? Over this side. So we know he died there, but I don't think there'll be anything lootable. 
Uh, yeah, let's. Running. Let's just get everyone to the exit. Leg it, guys. There's nothing here for us. Inside. It's not a scavenging mission. He's miles away. We don't care. Double time. Sprinting to position. Uh, we're actually going to jump. Save a little bit on the old running. Legs for days, they said. Legs for days. Of course, they did not mean this. By the time I, they actually bye, bye, get bye. into any form of uh, threatenable distance, we'll have been long gone. Extract. Extract. Moving to position. Not worth the ammo. Extract. Extract. So we're going to need one more turn just for our slow poke. You're not going to make it in time, mate. This guy might be able to get a shot off, but honestly, at that range, probably not that much of a concern. Not a very effective ambush, but again, stipulation this early into the game, it's always going to be a lot easier. Our forces have escaped the ambush. Hooray! Uh, we do need to spend a little bit of tech to replace some of the things that we've used. And uh, with that, that's actually going to be a good point for us to finish off this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.